Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. I am showing you how I'm making slurry for a repair I do in this video. And the reason I do this is because, well, a print went wrong. So if you want to see what went wrong and how to repair it, you have to watch that video. It's also in the link in the description down below. And here is how I made the slurry. So sometimes you will see your print go wrong and it can have a lot of reasons. Uh, for example, airflow beside your print, uh, which makes your print break between layers. Uh, or uh, sometimes it has to do with the infill percentage or how thick your walls are and a lot of things which can go wrong and I will discuss those in later videos. But if it went wrong and your print has layer separation, then you want to repair it and the best way to repair it is to create a slurry and you can create a slurry with the same uh, filament as you are printing with so this only goes for ABS uh, when you have ABS and you're printing with it then you can create an ABS slurry and what you need for this is some acetone some ABS of prints which went wrong and a jar in which you can mix it. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get some of this wrong prints and the smaller the parts are the more I like them. So for example those are uh, the, the, the uh, parts that are used for building up the print and uh, well those will easily dissolve because that's what we are going to do we are going to dissolve ABS material in this jar and the bigger the parts are the more difficult it will be to dissolve it so we're going to put in the small parts because they will easily dissolve and these are great great small parts you can easily dissolve that so I think for now this will be enough maybe we need more but you can always add more later so and now what I'm going to do I'm going to pour some acetone in the jar so here we have it and I'm going to pour it all in and as you see this is not enough acetone it's a 100 ml bottle but I will need two of those and best you can do it is in a ventilated room well this is also my soldering station so this place is ventilated so now I created a jar with 200 milliliters of acetone and well I'm going to put in a little more because I can already see that it will need just a little more and all those small parts they are great for it so use them the bigger parts I'm going to put to a shredder and when you put this in a shredder then uh, yeah eventually they will also become small parts so close the jar and now all I have to do is wait because this will all dissolve and it will take some time but who cares so I let this all dissolve and after it dissolves I will show you what you can do with it if it is thick enough so we have to see that and most of the times what I do uh, when I start printing with ABS then uh, things go wrong or uh, I have some infill left or, or some uh, structures which need to be broken away and I'll collect these and I collect this in, in uh, 
a strip bag like this so I can use it for later use. And always what I do, I make a jar with, uh, with some slurry from the same material as what I'm printing with. And you can do a lot of things with this. So this is basically how I make my slur. And you will see it is already nicely dissolving. So we'll put it to use later on in this video. So thanks for watching this video on how to make slurry. If you want to see me repair things with the slurry I made, you have to watch the video in which I'm really repairing things. And you can watch that video if you go to the link in the description down below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would like it very much if you subscribe to my channel. Every Thursday there will be a new, new video on 3D printing. So I hope to see you next Thursday. Bye then.